Scream is one of this year's most anticipated horror movies, and with the announcement of a sixth season for everyone's favorite horror series, fans are pumped up about how the season will turn out. Interestingly, according to Jenna Ortega, everyone's favorite horror heroine who also featured in the movie The Addams Family as the weird and fearless Wednesday Addams. What I will say, the deaths are pretty insane. Fans are up for an even bigger scare as this season will feature, in her words, a more aggressive and violent ghost face than in the previous seasons. So what do we know about the new release, especially as to ghost face's new threat? In this video, we will be discussing the new threat in Jenna Ortega's Scream 6, so buckle up and get ready for a ride of terror as we explore Ghostface's new threat in Scream 6. If you haven't seen the previous movies, be ready for some big-time spoilers! So let's get to it! So we know that Scream is an American anthology slasher television series directed by Matt Bettinelli Open and Tyler Follette, and written by James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick. The film is the fifth installment of the Scream film series. The movie is a sequel to Scream 5, which was aired in 2022, last year, and is the second film in the series to not be directed by Wes Craven, following the death of the director in 2015. Before the fifth movie in the series, however, the franchise was totally dormant for several years. The latest Scream film, Scream 6, is therefore a bit of a reset for the franchise. Bringing back the original cast featured in the fifth chapter, while simultaneously adding a new cast of characters to carry the torch going forward. While the movie hasn't yet been released, a spine-chilling trailer has become the talk of the internet as fans of Ghostface are once more. Ghostface's new trailer, All the Easter Eggs So, as we mentioned, there's actually a teaser trailer for Scream 6, and while this trailer doesn't reveal too much on the surface, on closer analysis, a few Easter eggs can be made out. For instance, from the trailer, we know that, unlike Scream, Scream 6 would be based in New York and not Woodsboro. This is evident in the posters at the supermarket where Sam and her sister are being chased by Ghostface. Therefore, it is likely that our heroines Sam and her sister, played by Jenna Ortega, may have left Woodsboro for New York City in a bid to move on with their lives only to be hunted down by Ghostface once again. Another thing that can be picked out is the fact that our new Ghostface is nothing like its predecessors. This new ghost face is pretty bold and terrifying. In the scene shot at the supermarket, for instance, we see that, unlike the previous ghost face, this new threat is pretty bold. After all, he was bold enough to threaten them even in a supermarket, knowing fully well how exposed the place would be. Some fans have theorized that this new ghost face may just be no other person than Rory Culkin, the actor who was featured as the first ghost face in the series. Think of it, since Culkin is the first, obviously he has quite a lot of experience. When it comes to getting the job done, having basically seen every other ghost face which came after him. A fact that supports this theory is the fact that Culkin's death wasn't clearly documented in the first movie. So does this mean that the producers can make a few tweaks to his character? Well, only time will tell. Another easter egg can be spotted when Ghostface appears in the train scene in the trailer. During this scene, he is seen to be accompanied by a werewolf and Grace from Ready or Not. Behind Ghostface is a man dressed as Pinhead from the Hellraiser franchise, and seated at the right side of the screen is Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Due to the resemblance of the mask worn by the character in this scene with that worn in indie horror movies, there had been speculations that the next Ghostface may make references to this movie. Guys. Scream 6 Plot The plot of Scream 6 is all speculation at this point, as there wasn't any obvious setup at the end of Scream. However, looking at the overall course of the movie, there has really not been an obvious setup at the end of this franchise. From the events which transpired at the end of the fifth chapter in the series, it is obvious that the producers would do everything to give fans a good treat. Every fan who has been following the Ghostface series would agree that throughout the movie, deciphering the identity of Ghostface was a very complex puzzle, with the movie continuously making fans doubt their stance on who the real Ghostface of the show is. In the end, it revealed that there are in fact two Ghostfaces in the movie, Amber Freeman, featured by the popular actress Mikey Madison, who is featured by Jack Quaid. Many fans are of the opinion that the two make a very perfect Ghostface duo. Based on Scream 5, their activities as the Ghostface began when the duo decided to create their own version of Stab 8 that would better serve the fans, in this case their own, needs and wants. Their master plan involved cozying up to Sam Carpenter, the main protagonist of the movie, the long-lost daughter of Billy Loomis, only to eventually turn on her in the final hour. 
What could Sam's role in all these possibly be? Sam's role in the previous franchise, Scream 5, was no doubt an iconic one. Sam, who was the daughter of a serial killer father, was the key piece in the Ghostface's murder streak in the fifth chapter. And a closer look at the official trailer of Scream 6 reveals that this may just be the case in the new release. In the trailer, we see a map with the names of several characters in the movie, including Sam's sister Tara Carpenter and some other members of the cast. However, one interesting thing is the fact that Sam's name on the map has the boldest print. Because of this, many fans have predicted that just as in the fifth chapter, Sam may play a huge role in Scream 6. Some have even predicted that Sam may as well be the main protagonist in this release. This is based on the shocking revelation at the end of the fifth chapter about Sam eventually accepting who she is as a serial killer's daughter and brutally murdering Richie. Frankly, this death is by far one of the most gruesome and unpredictable in the fifth chapter. Also, in Sam's own words in the recently released trailer, she speaks about the darkness inside of her. If you recall from Chapter 5, Sam was experiencing hallucinations when she saw her father, the first ghost face. The question is, how strong is this darkness that dwells within her and how far would it take her? I had this secret. There's a darkness inside of me. Get ready for a screen-worthy reunion! So far, we know that Courtney Cox, who featured as Gail Weathers in the iconic movie, has expressed her desire to return to reprise her role as the iconic reporter. Neve Campbell, however, has revealed that she wouldn't be returning for Scream 6 as the producers didn't offer enough money for her role. Fans have, however, gone crazy over her revelation as this will be the first film in the franchise without Neve Campbell. Nonetheless, as if to compensate for Neve's exit, another legacy cast member, Hayden Panettiere, acted as Kirby Reed from the Scream 4. Looking back at Scream 4, however, it's interesting that many fans actually thought she didn't survive her date at the end of the movie. Her role in the movie this time has been highly debated. Is there a likelihood that she is the next ghost face? Or was she brought back so that the producers would ensure that she is eventually finished off this time? These are questions only the next movie can tell. According to sources, this will be her first feature film role in eight years, and fans are really looking forward to what the legendary actress has to offer when featured with the likes of Melissa Barrier, Jasmine Savoy, Brown Mason Gooding, and Jenna Ortega. Scream 6 release date One question that has been on the lips of every Ghostface fan is regarding the release date of the movie. Originally, Scream 6 was slated to be released on 31st March. However, Paramount has now announced that the release date may come even earlier as they hope to release it on the 10th of the same month, basically 21 days earlier than it was scheduled to be released. Looking at this date, this is actually the shortest gap between Scream movies since the first and second movies were released. So could it be that we are entering a new golden age of Ghostface? Well, we can only hope so, 